hanging out in West Monroe, where Alien Fabrication is. They've been making mod light chassis. The one you see on the table behind is the third one that they have made so far. This effort among four people just started this past January. Joel Muller is the guy, I think, who drew the short straw, maybe, or maybe possibly the long straw. He's going to be our representative. He started racing last year, got a half season in with mod lights. This year, he is fourth in points. He's had a second place, and he is here chatting with us with the cricket, uh, making sure we know it's there in the background. Joel, how are we doing today? Good. How's it going? Good. So why? when did we start this and why? Um, so I started racing last year. It was my first season. Um, I missed half the season from injuries, and then I ended up selling my car to Tom Mackey, who the 99 car. Mm -hmm. He's running that now. Um, That's that car. Okay. Yep. Yep. That was my old car. Um, and then we actually, we were talking about it over the winter and we threw out the idea. It was like, Hey, why don't we build our own cars? So we were like, you know what, let's make it happen. Okay. And I didn't have a car at the time. So we're like, all right, let's do this. So yours you know? was the first one. Yep. Mine was the first one. The seven J that is out there now. And how many people are part of alien fabrication? Uh, there's four of us It is me. Joe Isabel, Justin Williams, and Jason Giblin. Okay, so do you guys have specific roles, or can you all pretty much fill in wherever it might be needed? Um, we all have our own roles that we do. I mean, everybody's important to it. We're all friends in it, so it's it's uh, something that we did to just come together, and it's it's more of a hobby, I guess. Mm -hmm. um, but you know, we're all having fun doing it. So that's how what did makes you good. start? Did you have an existing car that you measured off of to kind of have an idea of what to do? Uh, we had we had a old um, old car and we kind of implemented our own ideas into it. So you know between my fabrication background and Joe and Justin's racing knowledge and everything, we've we kind of put all our ideas together and uh, made a car. So, so what is the thing about an alien fabrication car? What is it that makes it unique? Um, they're simple. It make it simple to work on. Um, there's nothing complicated about it. Um, you know, there's, um, we have the max amount of room we can get in it, um, pretty much just down to, you know, all the bars in it, everything, bracketry, it's very simple. And the other thing that, that Joe told me about beforehand is, with the simplicity, I can take stuff from my other car and put it on, so you don't need a lot of different things that are alien fabrication specific, correct? Mm -hmm. Yep, there's um, it's pretty much, um, we build them as a frame and body, and you can pretty much bolt on all your standard parts right to it. Okay. What's the cost of, like, we're behind. We just got the body. We don't even have the body on it yet. How do you sell mm -hmm. them? Do you sell them as a chassis? Do you sell them as a roller? Do you sell them with a body or maybe all of the above? Uh, frame and body right now. Um, we sell a frame and body for five grand. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, let's say I'm not necessarily very good at all this stuff and I wanted you to build me a roller and maybe even put an engine in it. Could you do that too? Um, we could, um, especially, you know, we have no problem helping out any of the local guys. Um, we've had a few guys already come to us, and we're more than welcome to help them out with anything. On the next answer here, I'm going to zoom out a little bit so you can actually see the entire thing. Where do you want this to be end of the year, two years, five years down the road? Where would you like to be? Um, I mean, it would be it would be great to see multiple cars on the track that we built. I mean, that's it's very fulfilling to you know see something you built from the ground up and especially put it in victory lane like Joe has already a couple times this year. As far as you guys, is there one thing that, that you do that nobody else does? Is there one thing that Joe does? Or do you have specific things where you each excel? Um, for sure. Um, I'm a welder fabricator by trade, so I'm, um, I'm kind of the backbone to the whole thing. Um, but between, you know, their race and knowledge and everything, it kind of all just meshes together. Okay, who bends the tubes? Um, me for the most part, but they um, they do it as well too. Um, so everybody has their own niches, um, you know, with like the bodies and everything else. So mm -hmm. um, we all work together to make it happen. The attack weld before you do the finish weld. Oh yeah, you fit the whole thing up mm -hmm. before you weld anything out. Yeah, measure it, make sure. Yeah, you don't want to okay. be cutting anything apart. Will we eventually have a template? Do you think? Um, down We're, the road, yeah. Okay, because yeah. that would obviously be the key mm -hmm. to repeatability, wouldn't it? Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's something maybe in the off season we'll build a template. Or are we still learning about some specific things with the car? Oh, definitely. I mean, we just started doing this. Um, you know, we're every frame we do. I mean, we learn something little here and there. So mm -hmm. I think you know, as we keep doing it, we'll get better. The car that's behind us is it sold yet? 
It is. It is. Yep. Do you want to say who's getting it or would you rather not? It's your call. Yep. Um, it is Matt Kitts. He's oh, driving yeah. the 5K. Car yeah, he was right in Sportsman for a mm-hmm. year or two, wasn't he? Yep. Okay, but now he's back in Mod Lights. Mm-hmm. Okay. Did you have to sell him or did he come to you? I'm curious how the business he, no, side of it works. He, he went right to us. Um, I believe Joe has known him for a long time. Um, so, I mean, he's uh, we're all pretty good friends. So, mm-hmm. he's, I mean, as soon as he saw our cars, he, uh, it sold itself. So. So, like, the local guys that run Brewerton and Fulton are one thing. How could you expand this out? Because there are other builders, and some of them, I would imagine, are pretty big, right? Mm-hmm. What's the biggest one, if you had to guess? <clears throat> um, I, th- learn. I believe Joker Chassis right. is the biggest builder right now. If you had to take a guess, how many chassis do you think they make in a year? Mm, probably, yeah, probably around 60. 60? Where oh, would yeah. you guys like to be? Um. Yes, dude, we're we're not. We got a pit board yeah. behind him, so uh, he's getting he's yep. getting fed information. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> ten is what they're saying, right? If we could do ten, that would be great. Okay. Um, I mean, we're kind of just taking it as it as it comes and goes. Sure. Um, you know, if somebody wants a car, we're not going to turn them down. Sure. Um, and it's it's great to see our cars on the track. So if somebody called tomorrow said, "I want one," how soon would it be before they get it? Um, end of the year. Oh, okay. So mm. we're not exactly turning them around like Bicknell or Troyer no, at this point. No, so, no. Okay. Would we, would we, so if we eventually got to that point where we're making 10 a year, would we eventually do some C&C? Would we do a little more? or can Yeah, we do, definitely. Yeah. Um, I, you know, this is definitely something great that we're doing, and it would be cool to take it as far as we can. Okay. Where are you in your racing? Sounds like you're doing pretty well. I'm doing all right. Uh, uh-huh. Luckily, I have a few good mentors behind me, so... I'm learning pretty quick. All right. How long before you think you get a win? Does it happen this year or maybe next year? If I'm lucky, Tuesday. <laughs> if again, not, this is one yeah. we're airing a little after yeah. Tuesday, but yeah, and we've already recorded this a little bit. But obviously, the next time he goes out is when that win is going to come, right? That's yeah. the proper answer, right? I like that. Um, as far as you, where did you pick up all these skills yourself? Um, I started welding eight years ago. Was it part of a school program or yep. something like that? Um, okay. I did a BOCES program, and then that rolled right into the job I'm at now. Yeah, and you weld for a living? Yep, I'm a welder, fabricator, do lots of pipe fitting, so that's how. That's why this okay. works out well. Mm-hmm. Um, do a little bit of everything. I know a lot of kids, especially with the cost of college nowadays, are just going, man, I can't do that. Mm-hmm. Would you recommend a trade like welding? And if so, Absolutely. why? Why? Absolutely, because it's. It, I feel like it's going away, and it's good to be able to know that kind of stuff and be able to work with your hands. Mm-hmm. I mean, just, you know, just seeing our cars, being able to build something from the ground up, it's – yeah. It makes you feel good. Yeah, they always talk about people who build houses. They turn around at the end mm-hmm. of the day and go, same hey, thing. look what we did. It's the same thing here, right? Mm-hmm. You know same you're getting there. Thing. But, of course, there's probably days where you're going, man, I wish this would go a little faster. Right? Mm-hmm. <laughs> so, again, guys, if you're looking for a trade, Union Welder, great place to start, right? Yep. All right. Good meeting you. Again, how can Me people too, find Doug. out more about Alien Fabrication? Do you guys have a presence somewhere? Facebook, yep, the we web? we have a uh, Facebook page, um, Alien Fabrication. Mm-hmm. And we got less than a minute. Where did the name come from? Should we tell them? Okay, go ahead. Um, it was kind of an inside joke because um, Art Halliday, he's a, he's a great guy. He, um, he builds his Predator race cars, mm-hmm. and the name kind of got thrown around there, the Alien versus Predator, and it just oh, it oh, stuck. I like it. I it like stuck, it. so we're like, you know what? Let's roll with it. I like the little Alien welder guy, too. Yep. It's very cool. So good to see you guys. Again, get a hold of Alien Fabrication. They're making some nice cars right now, and uh, I hope things go well for you. Keep me posted, and we'll, uh, we'll keep talking about you guys, okay? Yes, thank you, Doug.